This here is Genshin Impact running on the Xiaomi 15 Adreno 830 Snapdragon 8 lit guys. I have now access to Fontaine, Natalyn and also Sumero. So we're gonna be starting with Natalyn and I wanna show you the Come FPS on, readings on. are here. So again, thanks to the kind support from Perfdoc by WeTest, we can see the FPS, we can see also the CPU, the GPU and what is very important also the battery discharge in milliwatts because guys in the end of the day what only matters is the performance per watt that we are able to achieve with a fall and the thing is the greater is the performance high fps the lower is the consumptions in milliwatts or watts then the higher is the efficiency which means you can play with stable frame rates for a longer period of time without getting to some crazy temps and by the way i've been already playing for like 20 minutes and I can show you, it's uh, really hot, I guess, with the case on, we have 40.3. And it's no secret for many people that the latest region of the game has really better graphics, which means they are more demanding and it's more challenging for the phones to run them. So I'm going to play right now here, like 10 minutes, Nathan, then I'm going to do Fontaine, and then I'm also going to do Sumeru. And the idea is to discover, like, will the Xiaomi 15 with the Snapdragon 8 Lite, the smallest Android phone on the market right now with a diagonal of 6.36 inches, smallest one with 8 Lite, okay? I'm not saying it's the smallest one ever, it is the smallest one with the Snapdragon 8 Lite. So guys, this is the idea, this is what we have to rediscover. Now I've entered the Lost Woods and of course I'm gonna die, but I just want you to enjoy these very beautiful graphics. It's really breathtaking. And also what I do like is the moment you put this on a big screen, it's going to look really amazing. So please, don't just focus on the gameplay because the gameplay for sure is gonna be terrible. But what is good to know is the FPS of that game. During this combat, will I be able to survive or am I gonna die with like 25 FPS? This is what we want to see. Shot. And at the end of the video, we want to see if the performance really is good or we have been averaging like 45 FPS. Just explore the beautiful world and graphics of Nathan. Now I'm gonna go guys down below and enter the Lost Woods where I am going to be anyway doomed but the idea really is to check on that sweet performance and analyze if the phone can just keep this like 60 fps or it's gonna drop all right again don't focus on the gameplay it's gonna be terrible and probably i'm gonna be dead like within two minutes the idea is to just see you know during this gameplay where we have this animus how much of that performance are we going to keep like are we gonna go down to like 40 fps i guess this is already like very intense based on what I can see on the screen or we are going to really drop the graphics and the animations is really mind-blowing this is for sure there is no joke with that <laughs> and of course, I have died one more time. From what I see on the screen, guys, even that I'm in natal, I don't think that the performance of my phone is dropping. And by the way, yes, I'm using the highest available graphics. Everything is set not only to high, but to ultra. This was it, guys. One more chance. All right, let's play just a bit more. But you can see the steady performance, guys. It's like 60 FPS almost like all the time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and I can do some spins here. And the music, by the way, I really so much like the music of this new map. I mean, it's new for me. The map is really, really good. Now, guys, let's enter Fontaine and see what happens there. But just one more time, let me do a spin here in Nathan. You can see 60 FPS. And, of course, we're using something like 6, 2, 7, sometimes probably even 8 watts of power. So, I'm now here. 
beautiful animations guys beautiful graphics oh 54 fps and now I'm flying in the area of Fontaine 60 fps and guys this is so huge in terms of a map I guess but then again people are saying that also in this latest additions to the map the graphics really and the gameplay is a bit different graphics are optimized so I do hope also that I'm gonna be able to keep you know like at least more than 50 fps oh wow now we have a drop right it was like 51 I guess Yep, I guess Fountain is able to get your phone to struggle a bit. Oh wow, even 49 FPS sometimes. This is definitely a huge map with a lot of nice animations in the meantime. Now let's try something in the open world. Again, it's the Fountain area. Let's try to do a temp reading in the meantime. Yeah, 44.2. Fontaine is really taking a toll on the phone. But I do believe that the performance is it's acceptable. I don't want to say impressive because occasionally we have these frame drops. And I cannot close my eyes for that. But nevertheless, it's still running. And yep, 55 to 60 FPS. <laughs> Impressive animations. And now I think I will face my doom. <laughs> no chance here guys this is for the serious players but I'm here just for performance testing Ooh, we got beautiful graphic and a beautiful map here guys the Fontaine region and I'm using something like 4 to 8 watts so it is a lot of power and my phone drops below 50 sometimes but overall right oh I do believe it's very very much playable all right even now you see it wasn't like so smooth 56 or something but in the end of the day you know I'm getting some good performance let me know what you think down below guys is this acceptable what do you see from the Xiaomi 15 in the Fontaine region or um, not so much. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. This doesn't look, of course it doesn't look good. I mean... All right, guys. Again, I am really, really bad at this. I don't have the skills to play in these areas at all but the idea is to test the performance of the game and now guys I am in the Sumeru region and my phone is even sometimes speaking on 11 watts so it is really extreme I have to tell you all right oh my god I'm so no much prepared for this the music in those new areas, new for me, is just impressive, I have to tell you. It's just so much better than the music in the first areas of the game, like the Monshad and others. 61 FPS, and of course, I was not able to survive. That goes without saying. But I'm just here to test the performance. Don't be so harsh on me. The idea is, if you want to buy a small phone with Adolid that will not rip your wallet apart and you have to know if you're able to play Genshin or not, well, this is why I'm making this video. 
So, 61 FPS, I think that's quite nice. Wow, the graphics is so intense guys. But I do believe that at the end of the day, also from what I'm seeing right now on my monitor, because I'm using PerfDoc, it isn't that bad at all. From what I've seen, I expected worse, guys, to tell you. And the game seems to be really running smooth. And right now I have like 22 ambient temperature. But imagine what is going to happen in the summer if you are in India or somewhere that is very hot. Let's say it's not going to be so... I mean, I'm falling. It's not going to be so pleasant. Oh my god. This game designers, just impressive. All right. Now this area seems to be smaller, not so open world, so maybe gonna get better graphics. Wow, highly dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I know it's not for me. The phone starts to burn a bit on the tip of my fingers. And we're using steadily like four to five milliwatts, which I think is not that bad. I would like expected more, but I guess on the average it's gonna probably be more because sometimes it even went to like 11 watts. And this is the Sumero region, guys. Okay, let me know what you think down below. Honestly, I'm not able to pick drastic differences in FPS in the first areas of the games and here, but of course, I'm you know just using it for like some hours. In the end of the day, I still think that those areas are more challenging and eventually my phone dropped to like 45 FPS. But in average, I would expect the frame rate to be very, very good. And with that said, guys, now, Let's stop here and let's see what happens with PerfDoc. And now thanks to PerfDoc by WeTest, we have a chance to look deeper inside and see what has happened. So my first session was almost 20 minutes. The average FPS is 59.1, which is just outstanding. And the smooth index 2.1, which is good as well, because remember below it is what is recommended for games. The average power consumption in watts almost five watts. And if I show you guys what has happened on the FPS, it is really stable. Of course, there are these drops sometimes going to like 42 FPS, even here going to 9 FPS, and here going to 7 FPS. The CPU allocation is interesting with 31.3. In most of the other games that I've played, it's like 15 to 25, so here a bit higher. And of course, there is no surprise that the average GPU usage was almost 75%. So the GPU is doing all the heavy lifting. And now the temp readings I measured 44 celsius on the surface of the phone and inside I guess it was a bit different and it was like 60 but at the end what really matters besides the FPS is the average power consumptions it is almost 5 watts and you can see guys sometimes going to almost like 11 watts we are almost at 12 watts here so this is really a lot but then you can see the phone is able to control this as well and on average we are using 5 watts of power now remember, what matters at the end is really the performance per watt. So if we are using something like this here, which you can see is like between three to five watts. And if we are getting 59 FPS on the average, I do believe this is okay. And now let's open my second gameplay. This is most probably the Fontaine area and then Sumero. Again, 59 FPS on the average. The power consumption a bit higher, 5084 milliwatts. The CPU allocation almost the same at 31. Dot five and the GPU again 75% doing all the heavy lifting so far I do believe that the Xiaomi 15 was able to deliver some very good results in Fountain in Natal and Sumero what do you think guys let me know down below in the comments and stay tuned for more